Hi, on this video I'm going to be showing you how to multiply some numbers together. Um, my other video is of the grid method, whereas with this video I'm going to be using the traditional method. The first question that I'm going to multiply is a two digit number by a one digit number. I'm going to multiply 23 by 7. Now, for the traditional method, you need to set this out in a column. So, I've got my 23. I'm going to multiply that by 7. 3 is in the units. The 7's in the units, so these need to be lined up together. Then we always start on the right-hand side. So I'm going to multiply together my 7 by my 3, which is going to give me 21. Because that has two digits to it, I need to carry my 2 over here on the doorstep and then 1 down here. It's always, always really good to check you've carried the right number. So sometimes it might be handy when you've multiplied these two together just to just jot that number down on the side there, which is 21, and make sure that your number here still reads as that number there, 21. Okay, then I'm going to multiply 7 by 2, which is 14. Add on the 2, which is 16. So it's 161. So just to go over that, we multiply this number by the top number first, and then this number by the number next to it. Okay, my next example is going to be a two digit number by a two digit number. I'm going to multiply together 42 times 31. So again I'm going to take my 42 and then I'm going to multiply it by 31. I'm going to change the colours here. I'm going to multiply um, by the 31 but I'm going to write down the 3, the tens in blue and I'm going to multiply by the 1 and I'm going to write that 1 in red. So I want to make it really clear so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So firstly, we always start with the unit, so I'm starting with this red number here. I'm going to multiply it by the 2 and then by the 4. So 1 times 2 is 2, and then 1 times 4 is 4. Then I'm going to multiply the 42 by the 3, but this 3 is 3 tens, which means 30. Now to multiply by 30, what we do is we break it down by multiplying it by 10. 10 first and then by 3. So when you multiply something by 10 and then by 3, it's exactly the same as multiplying it by 30. Now to multiply it by the 10, it's quite easy. We put a little zero here. I'm going to make that just a little smiley face so that you can remember that. Then we multiply the 3 by the 2, which is 6, and then the 3 by the 4, which is 12 and then add those numbers together, making sure, again, that you've got everything in line. So my units, that's going to give me 2. 4 plus 6 is going to give me 10. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then you've got your final one there, giving you a final answer of 1,302. OK, my final example is a three-digit number multiplied by a two-digit number. And for a GCC exam, this is as big as it will go, um, basically because they won't give you a number bigger than that because it would just take up too much exam time. So I'm going to multiply 247 by 68. So again, we just write this down, lined up by 68. So my units are lined up, my tens are lined up. Now, on the previous example, I wrote these two numbers in different colours. Just to emphasise that we're multiplying all of this number by this number first, and then all of this number by this number secondly. Okay? So, what I am going to do is a little change on this one, is I'm going to write my answers in different colours. So, we'll start with the 8. So we've got 8 times 7, which is going to give me 56. Carrying that 5 over. And again, what I said previously is if you want to jot that number down on the side just to make sure that you're um, carrying the correct number over, so it still reads as 56. And then 8 by the 4, which is 32, 
add on the 5, that's 37, so I'm going to carry the 3 over and then write the 7 here. And then 8 times 2, which is 16, and add on the 3, which will give you 19. Okay, now we're going to multiply 247 by 6, but this number is 60. So again, just like the previous example, we multiply it by 10 first and then by 6. So to multiply it by the 10, we put a 0 in here. I'm just going to put that little smiley face in again. And then we multiply the 7 and the 4 and the 2 by the 6. So 6 times 7 is 42. And then 6 times 4 is 24. Add the 4, that's 28. And then 6 times 2 is 12. Add the 2, 14. And you can see why I've used these two different colours at this stage, because when we're carrying the numbers over, we can clearly see that the red numbers belong to this number and the blue numbers belong to this number. If you want to write it in different colours, then that's entirely up to you. OK, then we're going to add this together. So my units, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands, everything's perfectly in line. So we've got 6. 7 plus 2 is going to give me 9. 9 plus 8 is going to give me 17. Carry the 1. 4, 5, 6, and we've got the 1, and that's your final answer, 16,796.